What's up Van Fam? It is Ben Price here with Vominos Vans back at you with another video. Now as you know we have been insanely busy. I haven't even been able to keep up with uh, with everything. As you can see we got a custom build going on right here. What I'm going to show you today though is a tour of our most recently completed build. Uh, now this is not in any kind of order of how we've completed builds. There's other ones we've done that we've gotten to uh, finish before filming. Uh, we'll get to those later, but uh, today I want to introduce you to Appa. Now let's go inside. So Appa here is actually a already owned uh, by one of our clients uh, and he came to us with the uh, the van already and he had the idea for the build which was a Japanese tea house inspired build. You'll start seeing a couple features that will uh, make that a little obvious here in a few seconds. So we'll give you guys a tour, kind of go from the front to the back. So. Right up front, we've got one of our most unique features here. Uh, this is a sliding shoji screen door that we built custom, specced out by the client. So that gives you access to the, uh, the driver's space. And then we actually have a second door right here, uh, which has a hidden full length mirror. Uh, this client is living in this van. Uh, and uh, you know, gotta make sure you look good, obviously. If you're living in a van, you gotta make sure you look good. Otherwise people judge you a little bit more. Uh, coming around here, obviously we've got our fridge. Now we do go with a, a 120 volt AC fridge. Uh, reason being is, yeah, they're a little bit more inefficient than the 12 volts, but I'll tell you what, they're a lot cheaper, easier to find. Uh, these come in a really standard size, uh, so easily replaceable, and they actually don't really use that much energy. Um, plus, on uh, when you get the dorm fridge, you actually have a really nice size freezer versus those little joke freezers that could hold maybe an ice pack and that's about it. Uh, we've also got a two burner propane stove right here. Uh, we always, always recommend that uh, our clients travel with their burners stowed um you know see here we've got the uh the firewall so you know the the risk of something kind of falling off of the burners and, and hitting the driver is minimal here but regardless we we don't want anything heavy uh flying around the van in in case of an accident and hurting someone so we always take those off before we drive everywhere uh right away you can kind of see one of our more unique features. Uh, this is a, a new product to us, but definitely going to be using it in the future. Um, it's actually real stone, believe it or not. And I know there's going to be a lot of people who say real stone, you got to be crazy, that thing's going to weigh so much. You're putting it in a van, that's going to ruin the gas mileage, ruin the transmission. Uh, I'm going to tell you that it won't because this whole thing's only about a sixteenth of an inch thick, backed with fiberglass it maybe weighs a few ounces. We also used a little bit over here uh, as a, a trim feature. Yeah, this stuff is incredibly light. It's real stone, so it won't weather. It won't crack under UV. Uh, good to go for a lifetime. Super stoked on that. Uh, moving over, nothing too crazy about our sink here. Nice black black faucet uh, we did make a custom uh, bamboo cutting board insert for the client so that we could have you know really maximize all the counter space 
Um, again, over here, nothing crazy fancy about our drawers. They do have soft close hinges and catches uh, to keep everything from popping open while you're driving. This is really nice action. Yeah, everything under the sink, tons of space. We always include little tip out trays. Uh, again, maximizing space. More storage over here on this side. Again, we've just got more trays, drawers with catches. Oh, you can see there's Appa. If you guys know anything about the last airbender, then you know. Uh, and then we actually have a hidden toilet right here. Uh, it's actually, it is plumbed to gray water. Right here you can see we actually have a, a hidden access door to garage storage just in case the client needs to, uh, to get anything while he's inside. And then coming on over here to the side, we've got our stone trim here, some outlets, USB chargers. Uh, we've got all of our lights on dimmers, so this one does our main lights. And then over here on this side, I uh, kind of skipped over these, got some more outlets, but then we've got one more dimmer switch. And these actually do the under uh, the cabinet lights. Also on a dinner dimmer, excuse me. <laughs> Coming up here in this closet, or cabinet I should say, we've got our control panel. So we can look at our water levels. We've got fresh water here, gray water here. Uh, this is a controller for our inverter so we can turn it on and off remotely. Nice uh, monitor here for our batteries and this one's actually pretty cool from Renogy. Um, it shows us our house batteries and the starter battery. It shows us we're actually connected to the alternator and to solar. Really cool system, really stoked to be using this. Uh, this uh, allows us to use one piece of hardware that controls solar charging and alternator charging. It's super smart, so it only charges our house batteries uh, when the car is running. And the coolest feature is that when our house batteries are fully charged, uh, it will actually let the solar trickle charge the starter battery. So in theory, never ever gonna run out of battery start the car. Down here we've got a couple controls, water pump. Uh, our fresh and gray water dumps are electronically controlled. controlled. So all I have to do is just push that button, turn it on, starts dumping water. And then when you turn it off, closes the valve and, uh, and shuts it off. And then here we also do have a, a remote switch for the fridge so we can control that independently as well. Coming around into the studio space here, we've got a couple reading lights. And these are actually dimmable as well. We love being able to dim the lights in the van. You don't want it to be too harsh. You don't want it to be too dim. And then nice little feature on these is they've actually got USB plugs in the bottom so you can charge your phone easily while you're sleeping. Now, this is another one of my favorite features right here uh, is our pneumatically lifting table. I'm gonna cut away to uh, a video that shows how it works because hard for me to film myself and do it all at once. Uh, really, really easy to do as one person, just not with one hand. You need two hands to do it. All right, so we've put the table down. Now we can talk about storage. Now we have a ton, a ton of storage in this van. This entire bench here is full storage and, uh, and this bench is the exact same thing on the other side. I'll just show you. Uh, client has actually already moved in taking full advantage of all of the space here. We'll go ahead and get some of this emptied out so you can see the utility closet underneath it. Okay, so now you can see all of the storage. This space is actually massive. Uh, I think it is five feet wide, 22 inches deep this way, and then uh, 16 inches tall. So you do the math, that's uh, a lot of cubic feet. And then we've got our false bottoms, which give us access to our utility closets. Uh, so you can see right here, we've got a custom 560 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery with a 120 amp Dolly BMS on top. We've got our propane tank. 
And if I drop this one and open up the other, you can see the guts of the power system, which we've got going on right here. So right here we've got our DC uh, to DC charger and MPPT. So that's the alternator charger and the solar all in one nice unit. We've got that mounted right on top of our Renogy inverter charger, uh, which handles all the 120 volt from either shore or supplying it from the batteries uh, to our appliances. And then right here we've got our power distribution, keep everything nice and safe. We've got AC breakers and DC fuses. That way in case we ever have any shorts, just replacing some fuses or popping a breaker instead of uh, dealing with a burnt van. And that's about that. I don't even wanna to go too much in detail on how we, uh, how we wire that up. That's not the purpose of this video. Plenty of videos out there that explain how those things work. But now you've seen where we did it. It's also actually probably a really good time to point out how our entire build is actually framed out with square tube aluminum. Uh, we don't use 8020. A lot of people ask us that uh, because 8020 is heavy, it's expensive, and it's really hard to find. This stuff is uh, just as strong, much cheaper, much lighter, much easier to find. Makes for good van builds. So you've seen what's going on over here as far as storage and the utility closet underneath. We've got pretty much the same thing going on on this side. Uh, I'm not gonna bother pulling everything out to show you the storage is the same. And then underneath is the water utility. Um, I'll cut over to another clip of one of our water utility closets in process right now so you can see what it looks like. Pretty much the same thing on both vans. And then as far as making this guy a bed, uh, we've got another leaf that goes right here and, and an insert that goes right up here. Uh, and then, you know, obviously our cushions pull out. You've seen this a million times before. I'll cut to, uh, you know, another clip of the bed being fully set up here. And last but not least for the interior tour, we have our custom curtains here. Uh, I'm sure you've seen something like this before, uh, but we did not buy what you've seen before. Uh, we built our own because uh, just not a fan of, of what's out there. So what I've normally seen is a, a fully detached curtain, uh, black, you know, black out, it's insulated and whatnot, and it attaches to the window with magnets. And, and that's great. However, uh, you have to take it off completely and store it away. We're not really into that. We want things to be fast and easy. So we made our own and they roll up with these little snaps, but uh, but we've actually mounted ours straight to the door of the van. And uh, yes, we still have magnets on the inside of the curtain, so when it unrolls, it just goes ahead and attaches itself right to the door, completely blacked out, fully insulated. You can be in here at night with all of the lights on. You won't be able to see anything from the outside, fully stealth. So of course we've got the max air fan as well, uh, pulling the hot air out, fully controlled. Uh, we've got buttons right here. There's also a remote. Again, nothing new. You guys have seen these all over the place. And uh, we've also got just some finishing touches. There's always, you know, little corners in vans that are really hard to, to figure out what to do uh, to cover them up, make them look nice. So what we do is we actually shape custom foam inserts and then uh, and wrap them with fabric. Uh, and that just keeps everything looking pretty nice and tidy. You can see we've got more over here in this corner. And uh, we've actually done the same thing over here in the front covered up uh, some metal studs and whatnot up here uh, again with custom shaped foam insert and wrapped in black upholstery. So that covers it for the inside of the van. Uh, there's a few fun features that we did here on the outside of the van. Uh, you could see them from the inside but you know we added the windows here when we got it. Those windows were not there. This was just solid metal. Uh, we added a ladder right here, which leads us up to a custom roof rack, which we're pretty proud of. This is uh, completely hand fabricated in-house here at Vomino's Vans. Went for the low profile, very slim line. 
You can see with the wind deflector up here, uh, I tried to keep the body lines, which helps uh, minimize drag, helps keep your gas mileage down, and, uh, and wind noise down too. No one likes a noisy roof rack. That is not fun. So I'll hop on up here and show you another one of our favorite features on this build. Sorry, slimline solar panels. Now, I'm sure, again, a bunch of you guys have seen these thin, flexible solar panels. Uh, this is not what you've seen. What you've seen before are flexible, monocrystalline solar panels. They're okay, um, but if you know anything about them, they're just not that great. Uh, they work, but they don't last, uh, and they actually break really easily. So like I said, these are not monocrystalline, and you can see that I'm walking on these really confidently. You would never catch me in a million years walking on monocrystalline solar panels. But these, not a new type of construction, uh, new to the consumer market. Prior to, uh, to you know, now, <laughs> these have been really military grade only and uh, in the sense that they've just been too expensive. It was at least like $1,000 or $1,500 for 100 watts uh, compared to like $100 or $150 for 100 watts. Um, but they came down to consumer pricing and uh, we are very excited to be using them and installing them on our builds. Because as you can see, we put a deck on this roof rack and we want to utilize all of it. And now, uh, with our walk on solar panels, we can. Uh, we did just leave a cutout for this fan. If we really wanted to, we would have made the deck just a little bit higher to completely cover it. Uh, so we could have had a full deck, but uh, we're pretty happy and, and so is the client uh, with the amount of deck space that we've got. And we don't have to choose between either deck space or solar. Now we can have deck space and solar. And uh, I'm sure you can imagine that means we actually have a lot of exciting things coming in the future with solar integrated into it. Keep an eye out for exciting updates on that. Before we forget, just a few more things here on the exterior. We've got a shore power inlet right here. So this van has three power sources. We've got solar, alternator, and shore power. So never without power. That's nice there. And then around here on the other side is uh, our water fill port. So you just unlock this, jam a hose in, and uh, you got 20 gallons of fresh water inside in our utility closet right here. And then uh, we've got 20 gallons of gray water underneath the van as well. And just in case you were wondering, I know I mentioned that this client is actually living in his van and we do have a toilet up front. Uh, and we got our shower right here. I'm sure you guys have all seen these before. This will flip down and then we've got our hot and cold water and uh, shower faucet head that'll pop out right there. Got our vent for a propane uh, water heater and uh, on this side we've also got our electrical cabinet vented out as well just to keep everything nice and cool and safe. And uh, you can see we've got the big garage here. Kind of hard to see in there, it's a little dark. Um, but again, tons and tons of room. It's this entire length, so we've got five feet right here. And again, I think we've got about 20, uh, sorry, 16 inches top to bottom and uh, about 24 inches side to side. So you guys do the math, but uh, I think it's exactly a lot of space. More than you need, really. All right, so that about wraps it up for the video tour of Appa. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it was a super fun build for us. We loved working on the van. We loved working with the client. Uh, if you want to check out more of our builds, make sure to subscribe down below. Click the little notification bell. Like, comment, share, all this stuff. You know, all of that stuff helps us grow. So if you're stoked on what we're doing here at Vominos Vans, it would really mean a lot if you could help us out there. Check us out at vominosvans.com on our website to see more about our rentals and our builds. You can also follow us along at Vominos Vans on Instagram. And until the next video, see you guys later.